day four on snow for us in the 2021-2022 season, and after making a trip out to Colorado and hiking up to Main Chute at Alta, we decided to head to our first opening day of the year at Deer Valley. Despite less than ideal snowfall, we had a great day enjoying the mountains and the sunshine. Well, good morning, Scott. Welcome back to another episode of season two of the vlog here. I overslept a good amount, not going to lie, because last night I had a holiday party and then, yeah, just a super late night. Today is an exciting day because it is Deer Valley opening day. I don't really know too much what to expect. I think I might be a little bit jaded because of our time at Alta yesterday, but uh, nonetheless, it should be a good day exploring a new mountain and seeing the terrain that's open for Deer Valley opening day. snow for the year for us and it's saying it's supposed to be 52 degrees in Park City today just to give you guys an idea of why there's been no snow so we desperately need just some cold temperatures even to blow snow so I don't know really what to expect here from Deer Valley I think they would do a pretty good job of trying to get as much as they can open for their guests and stuff like that but it's really hard hard to say hard to tell so it's just gonna be a day of enjoying what is open taking it slow still because again it's still super early skiing I'm just a guest, I'm just here to ski. Oh, okay. You're welcome to park up closer. We do employees down here so they don't have to walk so far, or so okay. the guests don't have to walk so far. I don't, I don't mind. I'd rather have a little space with the van. Okay, um, let's park next to this white van here. I'll move move the cones. The okay, thank you so much. Your belly is consistently ranked as one of the top ski resorts in North America, not necessarily because of the level of their terrain, but really just because of the whole experience, whether that's sort of like the daycare ski school stuff or all of their like amazing restaurants. So it's really a cool place to come to. And they have the World Cup stuff here. They have the Olympics here. Um, so it's just kind of one of those uh, really cool places. And with the Icon Pass, I have seven days here now. So really looking forward to using those more because I think a day ticket is upwards of like 200 bucks. So I would never really come here for that price. But since it all comes with the icon, I think it'd be a cool resort to kind of work in throughout the season. Oh, I didn't dry my boots or anything. Woo, they're cold and they're wet. Guys, first chair here at Deer Valley. Again, no line. Like just went right into the uh, the lift here at Carpenter. Again, really no idea what to expect here. I've never been here for an opening day. But you can still see a mountain bike trail down there. Deer Valley 2021 opening day.
for an opening day. I kind of figured Deer Valley would do its best to make it just like more than just a ribbon of death. And there's actually reportedly about seven lifts open and I think nine runs. A lot of the lifts kind of all lead to the same spot. So I've been just going up to really the, the top that you can ski, if that makes sense. But overall pretty good. We just need like so much more snow. Look at this. Like we just have absolutely nothing around here. Um, these are all ski runs, obviously, and it just doesn't look like um, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even, you can like still go hiking, basically. But overall, can't complain. Beautiful day. It's like hot out here. Um, and still just using these JJs, even on these like groomers with not a lot of snow. And that's definitely where these JJs suffer the most is just um, sort of like these icy groomers. I just don't have any edge, but still super fun to ski to, to you. So that's it, really. Have fun. That was sketchy. I think my ski's broken a little bit. The brake is bent. Brake's not coming up. Well, let's see if that will work. Whoa. All right, something's not really right. I'm not really sure what exactly happened, but just on that little nose butter, I came out of the toe piece there. Luckily, I didn't like go down or anything, but the the, both the brakes on this right ski are just not right. Typically the brakes come like up and in and they sit on the ski so when you edge hard you don't hit the brake at all but on these both of them are just kind of not right so I just tried to bend them in but if I edge enough the brake actually hits the snow which is quite dangerous so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> I'm gonna try to see if I can fix it a little bit more but I might just have to bring them in and get tuned up and then get this little brake shit fixed but that's really weird. Luckily, it wasn't any worse.
honestly probably one of the best opening days I've ever been to just in terms of what has been open and things like that. Skied for about a solid like three and a half hours. Since I kind of broke my ski, I don't really think they're broken, but they do need some attention. So I'm gonna use sort of the rest of the day to go drop these off, potentially get them tuned as well, but just make sure these are ready to go for tomorrow, hopefully. It's kind of a quick turnaround, but we'll see what we can do. being on the mogul team here in Park City there's a place up here that I think gives him like a little discount I'm not really sure but that's kind of the reason why I'm going where I'm going I don't even really know what it's called but it's right up here at the base of Park City Mountain so I'm gonna drop him off hopefully they can fix him even tune him up and I can get him back for tomorrow but if not it's not a huge deal just use like a pipe to like bend the brake back which is essentially what I was trying to do but I think their pipe gives them a lot more leverage so I actually left them there they're gonna give them a nice tune I had a big core shot at the bottom from last year so that was cool sports dude's name was Zach was super cool so pick him up in the morning and we'll ski here at Park City came out to my local Walmart here in Park City basically to crash for the night. I'm currently making um, some tacos. I got everything sort of lined up here ready to go. So I didn't get much sleep last night because of that holiday party. So my plan is to basically just crush some tacos, do the dishes, and then go to sleep so we can get another day of riding tomorrow. The plan tomorrow is to hit Park City. But because there's only one run open at Park City and one run open at Canyons, I'm probably going to do both of them tomorrow. So tune in for the next vlog. Thank you guys for watching this one. I hope you guys um, enjoyed it. So thank you for watching. I'll see all you guys in the next one. Take it easy, fam. Peace out.